وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بشر المنافقين بأن لهم عذابا أليما الذين يتخذون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين أيبتغون عندهم العزة فإن العزة لله جميعا وقد نزل عليكم في الكتاب أن إذا سمعتم آيات الله يكفر بها ويستهزأ بها فلا تقعدوا معهم حتى يخوضوا في حديث غيره إنكم إذا مثلهم إن الله جامع المنافقين والكافرين في جهنم جميعا الذين يتربصون بكم فإن كان لكم فتح من الله قالوا ألم نكن معكم وإن كان للكافرين نصيب قالوا ألم نستحوذ عليكم ونمنعكم من المؤمنين فالله يحكم بينكم يوم القيامة ولن يجعل الله للكافرين على المؤمنين سبيلا صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين So yesterday we stopped with the ayah 138 بشر المنافقين بأن لهم عذابا أليما which is the meaning of basharat is basically good news but the meaning here is that give them the good news the munafiqeen the hypocrites who bring faith then go away then bring faith then go away or in another way, place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that they are switching and shifting between iman and kufr these people give them the good news so the only good news so the meaning is that one expects a good news for themselves in future Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them that for their future the only good news that they are going to get is of azab and alima. So whatever they are expecting, it's indeed, a, they should not be expecting any good news except for azab and alima, a painful punishment. الَّذِينَ يَتَّخِذُونَ الْكَافِرِينَ أَوْلِيَاءَ مِن دُونِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ These people, these munafiqeen, they make kafirin, the disbelievers awliya, they make friends with kafirin, مِن دُونِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ over mu'minin. They take disbelievers as friends rather than believers. أَيَبْتَغُونَ عِنْدَهُمُ الْعِزَّةِ Are they seeking honor through their company? فَإِنَّ الْعِزَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا All the honor belongs to Allah. So, Hazrat Ulama have explained that these munafiqeen, they had a habit of coming to Muslims and say that, claim that they are believers. But they would have maintained very strong ties with the kuffar at the same time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that we had given you this command before in a Makki surah, Surah Al-An'am, it was given, this is a Madani surah. In Makki surah, Surah Al-An'am, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given the believers a clear commandment that do not make friends with the mushrikeen, with the disbelievers. Here in Medina, these munafiqeen, these hypocrites, they will make friends with the Yahud. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that they are doing it. Are they trying to seek izzat, honor through this? فَإِنَّ الْعِزَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا Izzat or honor belongs all of it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when honor belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how can it be found with the enemies of Allah? وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ Allah has revealed to you, over you or in the book, أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا that when, whenever you are in a place or whenever you are in a gathering or whenever you see somebody, when you, whenever you hear somebody that they are denying or disbelieving in the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or ridiculing the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one is kufr, open denial. That, Nawazubillah, somebody says that we do not and this was the way of these kuffar, these munafiqeen. That they would go to the kuffar and ridicule the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also in the Muslims who were weak in their belief or new Muslims or who were weak financially or socially. So they would go to them and try to impress them about things of kufr. They claimed to be a Muslim but their way was that they would, they were always very impressed with the ways of kufr. And they would want Muslims to be impressed with the ways of kufr. And if we think about it, 
this na'uzu billah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us is the state of many of us today that we are always impressed with things of kufr and in our gatherings we are talking about things of kufr in a impressionable manner in an affectionate manner that these people have so much so many things so much better than na'uzu billah what is given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam that Muslims do this and they are following the Quran and Sunnah so indirectly or directly one is open denial the other is yustahza'u biha they are ridiculing they are when, whenever you hear the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being denied disbelieved in or being ridiculed being talked little of belittled فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying we have given a clear command to you in the book that whenever this whenever you hear this happening فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ do not even sit with them do not, do not stay with them حَتَّى يَخُوذُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ until they start talking about something else they enter into some other discussion so this is a clear and open ruling of the Quran in which there is no relaxation that whenever you hear whenever you're in a gathering where the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the sha'air of Islam the trademark signs of Islam are being ridiculed or disbelieved then it is incumbent upon us it is haram for us to stay there and it is incumbent upon us to get up and leave that company and then when they have when these people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah has said hatta yakhudu fi hadith in ghairi here it says that they until they start talking about something else when they start talking about something else when the topic of the discussion changes and it goes to something that is not ridiculing or denying the ayat of the Quran about that still ulama have disagreement some ulama say that it is permissible after that those people have given up their discussion it is permissible to sit with them a lot of ulama still say that such people company of such people should be given up for good until they make astaghfar and they declare their astaghfar innakum idham mithluhum why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very clearly saying that in that case if you if you keep on sitting with them you will be like them you will be counted among them and hakim ulama al maathani rahimahullah has may allah bless him he has clarified it that one is mithl over aqeedah that you you also believe just like them and the other is that in appearance you are sitting with them although your heart believes something else this refers to your appearance that you will appear like them in nakum idham mithlu whom you will appear like them in allah jami'ul munafiqina wal kafirina fi jahannam jami'a here again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in allah definitely allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jami' means the one who gathers it's the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is going to gather munafiqin and kafirin fi jahannam jami'a there is going to be no difference between them munafiqin and kafirin they are going to be gathered in jahannam jami'a will there be difference in stages yes but they will all be together in jahannam of course the station of munafiqin is worse than the kuffar alladhina yatarabbasuna bikum these people who look yatarabbasuna bikum who keep on looking towards you so they keep on looking or waiting for a misfortune to happen to you fa in kana lakum fathum min allah if a victory is written from you there's there's a victory given to you from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qalu they come saying alam takum ma'akum alam nakum ma'akum are we not with you are we not a part with you were we not with you wa in kana lil kafirina naseebun and if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a share to the kafirin in victory qalu they say alam nastahwid alaykum wa namna'akum min al mu'minin they go to the kuffar and say had we not overpowered you still protected you from the believers so what they say is that muslims were about to overpower you so we were among the muslims and we were about to overpower you but then we betrayed and we did a mutiny and we harmed the muslims from inside and gave victory to you so now they want a share from the kuffar so either way they are looking for a share from both sides for allah who yahkum baynakum yawm al qiyamah keep on doing this allah will decide between you on the doomsday you, you keep on doing this wait for the order of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wait for the day of judgment where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make it very clear and make you regret what you are doing here this is in this ayah also there is a hint that munafiqin by the blessing of their claim to islam they are not punished in this world they are not dealt like kuffar in this world for allah yahkum bainakum yawm al qiyamah their their judgment their command is left over allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to punish them and give them a very severe punishment the most severe of punishments on the day of judgment wala yaj'al allah lil kafirin ala al mu'minin sabila and their things that they are doing in this dunya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never wala yaj'al allah 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never, shall never give the disbelievers, alil kafirin, the disbelievers, alil mu'minin a sabila, a way against the believers. So, final victory and permanent victory will never be given to uh, the kuffar. Now, there's a few ma'arif of this ayat, these ayat that we read. One very particular one is that to make friends with kuffar, and we've dealt with this in detail, that to make kuffar over mu'mineen, and especially seeking honor through their company. Or through their friendship is haram, is haram. And Hazrat Umar Khattab radiAllahu anhu has said that whoever goes to the kuffar seeking honor, it is for sure, it is a sure thing that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will humiliate them in this world. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will make them zalil in this world if they go to kuffar seeking help or seeking izzat. If this, if they want to seek izzat, if they want to seek honor. Honor only lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and another of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it lies with, the, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Mu'mineen. So the people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants them Izzat. Now, Izzat, another meaning of Izzat here is Ghalba or overpowering the Kuffar. So it should be noted that Muslimin and Mu'mineen, as long as, number one is that overpowering the enemy lies the decision of it lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran that sometimes he lets the kuffar overpower Muslimin. The reason for that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to train the qulub, the nufus of Muslimin, the hearts of Muslims. So if they are always victorious, they will start to forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So to bring them back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to keep them in check, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes give power over uh, Muslimin, Mu'minin, believers to the kuffar. That is also a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because through that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trains the kuffar. But if the mu'mineen are real believers, if the believers are real believers, the final victory in this world and in the hereafter is also with the mu'mineen. So, in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when Muslims would stick to their iman and would complete, would fulfill the requisites of iman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them victory after victory after victory after victory. So much so that in the time of Sahaba, Muslims were ruling over most of the known world. But then slowly and gradually, as Muslims left the teachings of Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given power over to the kuffar. But when Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam would come, and when Muslims would be in his following, would come back to their true deen, and would stick to the requisites of Iman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will again give complete victory over to, to Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us complete Muslims and the ones who get izzat and honor through following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Salatu salam ala Sayyidina Musaleen. Abara taqabbal minna inna kanta al-Sami'u al-Alim wa tum alayna inna kanta al-Tawabu al-Rahim. Allahumma inna qulubana wa nawasiyana wa jawari hana biyadik. Lam tumalikna minha shay'a fa idha fa'alta thalika bina fakun anta waliyana wa adhina ila sawa'i al-Sabil sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amin birahadka ya rahman rahim.